And then last year, I made a video on how you could live stream on TikTok using VMIX. Now, mind you, this was made possible with the help of a third party software. TikTok has released its own live streaming studio, which you could use to live stream on TikTok using your PC. Now, we're just going to take a quick look on this new software that has been released by TikTok. And in my next video, I want to show you how you could use it to stream your gameplay, how you could use it to stream your church service, your conference, your event, or whichever thing you want to stream on tiktok using just your pc and also how you could link it up on vmis and obs as well so let's go ahead and dive in and let me show you the interface and how it looks like and some of the settings that you should be using and if it is your first time here remember to smash the red subscribe button below if you haven't This is a software here called TikTok Live Studio. You want to install the software on your PC. All you have to do is to go ahead and open your web browser and type in TikTok. You see the link there, download Live Studio. Now make sure you have the TikTok account. Let's go ahead and log in to my own TikTok account. Use here or email, click on here, then type in my email. Okay. And before you get into your TikTok account. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we already logged in to my TikTok account. Once you're already logged into your TikTok account, this is what you're going to see here. It also allows you to import from another tool, which sometimes does not work. I believe with time it should start working and it will allow you to import from other live streaming softwares. So click on the go live now. Just skip the whole setup process. You can cast your Android phone on the TikTok live studio. You can also cast from your iOS on the TikTok live studio. If you want to bring in an image, you want to bring in your camera, you can also click on that to bring in your camera. Now on the scenes here, this is where you bring in all your scenes. If you want to put it on landscape mode or on portrait mode, depending on whichever one you want to make use of. So they've also given you that option to choose between landscape and portrait mode. And if you want to add sources, just click on the plus sign on sources here and you can select what you want to add. You can also be able to add your game capture your camera, your display caption, your window caption, your link, your video, as whichever thing you want to do. They've also, they keep updating this by adding new features every day. You can also add uh, the life we get here, a lot, good chat box, viewer ranking, and also image text and countdown before you start your live stream. So here you have the general scenes, you have the chat scenes, and the general scenes here, this is a what are they already. Now you have also the chat scenes here, and you have the bl blank scene here. And you have the blank scene here as well. And you can also add your own scene where you have, you create your own different template or you want it to look like and delete the ones that they've already or created for you by default. If you want to use this software to go live on TikTok, all you have to do is to click on the setting icon here. This one at the bottom of the screen here, click on that. Then from here, you are going to see the stream quality. From here, you could also set the quality that you want to live stream on. You could see they've given you different resolution to select from. You have the 480, the 720. You have the 720 by 60 FPS there. You have the 1080p there. You also have the 1080p by 60 FPS. So you can select whichever one resolution you want to live stream on, on TikTok. And also your FPS, your video bitrate your audio retreat and your encoder as well and they've given you the record feature there that you could also record your gameplay and edit it later to upload on tiktok so you could edit that and put it up again on tiktok by cutting it into short short format and you also have the hotkey there so you don't necessarily need to use your keyboard or use your mouse to type or move the screen or bring in your sources you can set uh, your short keys here or your hotkeys rather so whichever one you click it will be able to bring that the uh, input that you've already set it for on the screen and uh, you can import from another tool just like what they showed us from the beginning it's not currently functioning well i believe with time they'll be able to add um obs and other like, streaming tools that you could also import from but for now it's not currently working okay? once you're done click on the go live button here and you'll be able to go live on tiktok and over here you'll be able to see the people the number of viewers people that are currently watching you on tiktok and also on the topic tab here you could be able to select which topic your video is under if it's about gaming if it's about uh you know, depending on whichever one 
the category you are under. At the top one here, you also see that select live go here. There's the live go with the text and the subscription here. So up right here, you're going to see that gifts. How many gifters, how many new followers, total number of views, and how many diamonds you receive. We resize this. You'll be able to see the gift and subscription will appear here and also the live chat. One last thing before I leave you, remember you must have up to 1,000 followers on TikTok before you can be able to live stream using the TikTok live studio even with the mobile app. Now, if you don't have up to 1,000 followers, here's a quick tip. You could send them a feedback using the feedback feature on the TikTok mobile app. By sending them that, just tell them you want them to be able to unlock the live streaming features for you on your uh, TikTok account so you could be able to live stream using your tiktok uh, live studio or even the tiktok app so they will be able to do that for you stay tuned because it's just a quick review and a quick look at the tiktok live studio